President and Rector, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration 2012. On the 23rd day of October, 1945, His Majesty, the late King George VI, and Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth, honored with their presence our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of the Imperial College. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the rector, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statu pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. This would serve as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science and engineering and their application for the well-being of mankind. We meet today to recognize the outstanding achievements of students of the college in all their endeavors, in sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, cultural diversity, volunteering and enthusiasm, as well as in academia. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that you not only have enormous potential to contribute towards taking mankind forward, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before you. Our time as students was, and never will be, solely for academia or achievement, but also to find ourselves, to immerse ourselves in university life, and make a generally positive contribution to the college. In future years, ours will be the shoulders that future graduates stand upon. So let us now remember all those who have served the college from its beginning, in council and in deeds, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert, the Prince Consort. Let us rededicate ourselves in humility to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow men and women in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> Chair, Graduates, new fellows, welcome to 2012 Commemoration Day graduation ceremonies. Today is a real pinnacle within the academic year of Imperial College. Today, some more than 2,400 graduates will receive their degrees from Imperial College. They are joined, or we are joined, by some 7,000 family and friends to celebrate their success. Now, in London during 2012, there's been an enormous amount to celebrate, not least the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Games, which brought together an international community of athletes it brought to London literally millions 
of people from around the world to participate in their success and their participation. Imperial College itself is a thoroughly academic community. It brings together an international grouping that are joined in the sole purpose and aspiration to achieve academic excellence. So we welcome, therefore, 7,000 guests from around the world that are going to share with us the college as part of a greater community to celebrate the academic success of our graduates. To you, our graduates, you've achieved much. There is no question, as a group of graduates, you will excel and exceed at least the impact that previous generations from Imperial College have had. But as you cross the stage today as graduates, you will join the larger community of Imperial College, which numbers some 160,000 worldwide and some 55 associations and networks in which they participate. I have the great privilege as rector of meeting our alumni, both here in London, in San Francisco, in Boston, Singapore, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Beijing, Mumbai, Delhi, and so on. It's a huge privilege. And when I meet our alumni, there are several things that always strike me. First is that in these networks, there are often quite a large number of very recent graduates from Imperial College that have joined these networks and are often getting support in settling into a new country, a new position, and a new job. The other interesting thing is that these networks span a huge generation. There are not only people from the 80s and the 70s there, there are people from the 50s and the 40s. And they share much in common about Imperial College. The second thing that always impresses me about our alumni is their sheer generosity. They're generous in as much as they are our greatest ambassadors for the college. But they are generous in the financial support that they've offered to the college over the years. There will be a number of people sitting in the Albert Hall today who have benefited from bursaries and scholarships to help them through their time here that have been provided through the generosity of our alumni. Now, last month, I welcomed 5,000 new students to Imperial College. Something over half of those were undergraduates and the rest graduates. They, of course, are embarking on the journey that you have completed. They will, however, benefit from some of the changes that you have encouraged are made at Imperial College. They will also benefit with more support than was available to you, but in part because of you. Many of you sitting here today have participated in events to raise funds. Many of you have engaged in telethon events and raised money yourselves that has gone into something like 100 new scholarships and bursaries to support those people who are coming behind you. This is Imperial College as a community at its very best. But lastly, whilst this is the day to celebrate your success with, your, with the college and your friends and family, we also acknowledge um, some people who are a little bit further along in their careers. Firstly, Lord Kerr will receive um, a fellowship of Imperial College later on. Lord Kerr was the chair of council for six years, 2005 to 2011, steered us through some challenging times with higher education reviews, and the college, as you will hear um, in the uh, citation later on, um, we've benefited enormously from his wisdom. Secondly, an Imperial College medal will be given to Jonathan Spatz. Jonathan Spatz graduated in 1970, but for more than 20 years, 
He's participated in the Imperial Foundation in the United States, and he's been vice president of it um, for the last decade. This, over this great period of time, has gained money from our alumni in the United States and fed it into the college that has supported um, and helped the journey that our graduates have made over the years. So let me finish by thanking you, our graduates, for coming back today, welcoming again the 7,000 friends and guests, hoping that this will be a true day for you to remember, for us to remember, and for your family and friends to celebrate. Thank you very much indeed. Graduates in the Faculty of Natural Sciences, Associates of the Royal College of Science and graduates of the University. The names will be announced by the Dean for the Faculty of Natural Sciences, Professor Robin Leatherbarrow, followed by the Professor of Carbohydrates Biochemistry, Professor Anne Dell. Chair, I call on the graduates in the Faculty of Natural Sciences to whom the associateship of the Royal College of Science and first degrees of the university have been awarded to come forward to be presented to you, Chair, in token of the congratulations of the court, council, and of all members of the Imperial College. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause for prize winners and the end of the group of graduates. Bachelors of Science. Alexandra Abel. Sophie Bates. Joshua Blight. Caris Carolambus. Choan Choi. Roshan Darianani Milwani. Ziwei Feng. Zuchira Galaj. Marian Gasperment, Shahib Hagholahi, Maya Lisa Han, Victoria Juskite, Natalie Kempston, Gary Utama Kang, Min Jung Monica Ku, Ji Ting Janice Kwok, Rebecca Liao, Henry Jiahao Li, Haley Loy, Ola Marie Fallon McMahon. Awarded the Thomas Scurry Prize and the Governor's Prize, Melissa Ng Chu Fung. <laughs> Mari Nimi. Horio Nur, Abi Omulu, Sarisa Mai Piasom Batkul, Shati Raman, Jeremy Raman Ayaki, Andreas Romain, Jessica Santivanis Pures. Nikesh Sharma, Siri Kamal Shreesmith, David Tran, Demetris Vichas, Wing Sianis Wong, awarded the Julia Buckingham Prize, Davi Wu. <laughs> Jiali Young. Joel Jim Hao Boon, Cameron Barani, George Calvert, Wen Yao Gao, Mamoon Hussain, Crystal Liu, Roxanne Jordan, Jonathan Canches. 
Mustafa Khan. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the Department of Chemistry Prize, Alpha Albert Lee. Bonita Yuan Li Leung. Awarded the HVA Briscoe Prize in Inorganic Chemistry, Yuan Chung Jason Lim. Kun Man Lo. Guang Yen Matthew Lo. Brian C. Key Lok. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Lo Chun Heng. <laughs> Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Jonathan Lo. <laughs> Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Stefano Martignani. Luca Palazzo, Mea Shah, Keng Sheng, So Ming Chuan, Angus Tennyson Collins, Eugene Hongjin Wang. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Zach Yang. Vivian Chia Chia Yap, Xining Yin, Rena Josgray, Chandramuli Chadalawada, Zain Kawaja, Christopher Lloyd Davis, Teddy Middlebrook, Molly Myhill, Gareth Naylor, Anshumalita Patel, Payal Patel, awarded the ICBS Prize for Best Overall Performance in Joint Honours, Terence Thong. <laughs> George Basrawi, Husu Chen, Suzanne Clifton, Chuam Hong, Letty Noel, Jeffrey Ching Yin Wai, Yun Hong Young, Abdul Pata, Krupa Bhava, Ridi Benani, Yelena Bezovic, Coral Bischoff, Andrew Brockman, Victoria Brzezinski, Andrea Charalambus, Clerk Lang Chiang, Michael Collins, Hubert Colvin, Ben Cook, Natalie Crank Burnett, awarded the Convener's Prize and the Ian Clark Memorial Prize, Sophia David. <laughs> Olivia Davis. Nicola Deshaun. Awarded the June Mahan Memorial Prize, Sammy Dogham. <laughs> Joshua Doyle. Matthew Drage. Amber Chi Emerson, Rosalind Flower, Joseph Folwell, Adam Gilliman, Craig Glastonbury, Daphne Glinos, Rebecca Gray, William Gregory, Zoe Groom, Vuna Guevara, Francesca Gulliver, Enery Gundalai. Awarded the Convener's Prize, Roxanne Lau. 
William Lachlan, Menke Lee, Denise Loder, James Mendenhall, Zoya Naganaya, Ellen Newcomb, Cornelius Wei Loon Ng, Huey Yen Ong, Bobby Osborne, awarded the Convenus Prize, Kelly Osborne. <laughs> Dorothy Wei Ung Overington, Alice Overton Smith, Yuan Pan, Karina Pankova, Sunny Patel, Michael Peacock, Joshua Potter, awarded the James Prize of the New Phytological Trust, Rodrigo Procana Fragoso Almeida. <laughs> Ross Purple, Emma Randolph, Joshua Schwartz, Amanda Simmons, Neera Sinha, Joshua Chuan Smith, Matthew Spate, Christopher Spencer, Li Ying Tan, awarded the Convenus Prize, Anthony Thumbaya. Simon Thundo, awarded the Convenus Prize, Jessica Tillman. <laughs> awarded the Murray Prize in Physiology, Katerina Vritzelli. <laughs> Jessica Williams, James Woods Segura, Daniel Wright, Manhin Yao, Su Ling Yo, Kenny Kun Ying Yung, Malisha Milivoic, Ni Li, Margarita Elena Papandreou, awarded the Convenus Prize, the Howarth Prize, and the Forbes Memorial Medal, David Schupfer. Jenny Wei Shane Yu, Tamara Al Husseini, awarded the Convenus Prize, Dominic Andrade Brown, <laughs> Anthony Dancer, Charlotte Iverson, Hung Chu Su, Robert Daniel, Nicholas Kral. Mikhail Nikitin, Jaivan Verdi, Deepam Patel, Gladys Pewen Tan, Shruti Patalwa, Sebastian Mark Chunho Kwok, Nathan Lai, Alex Trainer. Anna Loreiru, Atar Noderi, Ryota Nakamura, Holly Reedlinger, David Wilson, awarded the Convenus Prize, Dominic Bennett, <laughs> Andre Leonidu. Awarded the Sir Arthur Ackland Prize for Language, Anne-Marie Keane. <laughs> Alice Barrett. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the Convener's Prize, Jun Ying Lim. <laughs> Joshua March. Zitong Mok. Jessica Purcell. 
Jack Horlick, awarded the Convenus Prize, Nural Amira Ibrahim. Yu Chai Lo, Stephanie O'Hira, Joshua Pear, George Smith, Amy Switzer, Noor Farah Abdullah, Federica Amato, Brian Balchin, Elliot Ross Barford, Sorrel Bunting, Gareth Campbell, Bizan Cabria, Jonathan Wang Luk Chan. Awarded the Convenus Prize, Stephen Kaki Chan. <laughs> King Ling Chia. Alexandra Chung, Win Sun Faith Chung, awarded the Convenus Prize and the C. Ewart Stickins Memorial Prize, Bronwyn Dawson, <laughs> Jade Fernandez, Sally Fletcher, Jessica Floyd, Nigel Fullerton, Lockhin Fong. Raj Dilip Gandhi, Zhao Long Gu, Yosuke Hamada, Hoi Ying Ho, Eleanor Hobbs, Human Hushida, Ka Ming Hui, Meng Jin, Catherine Kierney, Fedia Kiskin, Angela Kit Ying Lung, Stephen Ho Him Lung, Daniel Levy, Tony Lin, Kylie Lowe, George Lucas, awarded the Convenus Prize and the Laurent Bonomo Prize, Bruce McLachlan, <laughs> Haley Marla. Andrew McGarkey, Faris Mustafa, Fumi Olakitan, Thomas Peacock, Mark Philippe File, Lawrence Pope, Vashana Rajasekaran, Patricia Reese, Daniel Rodney. Christopher Schoen, Simon Skutz, Jameen Zaming C, Matthew Shannon, awarded the Convenus Prize, Bruno Steinkraus, <laughs> Jia Jia Tang, Jeffrey Ying Mian Tang, Alexander Turnbull, awarded the C. Ewart Stickins Memorial Prize, Benedict Turner. <laughs> Christina Johanna Vasiliu, Jota Wang, Weng Son Ya, Kan Kan Shah, Nagisa Yoshida, Chowran Sheng, awarded the Convenus Prize, Anthony Batram, <laughs> awarded the Convenus Prize and the Bell of Chain Prize, Hannah Green, <laughs> awarded the Lance Ware Mensa Award, Katie Hedgethorn, <laughs> Kai Ji Young, Helen Miller, awarded the Biochemical Society Prize, Trisha Mystery. 
Claire Scott. Ronya Wallace-Shuk. Awarded the Gabrielle Ferres Prize, Martin Billman. Lizanne Kawa. Tanvi Bedra. Sonia Boma. Sarah Braden. David Cole. Miles Glanfield. Sophie Locke. Izat Yusuf. Lakshmi Srinivasan. Ravi Tapu. Andrew Toner. Fiona Vong. Aaron Chun Quen Young. Ladipo Akoni. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the Convener's Prize, Michael Anderson Burley. Zhang <laughs> Zhen Hannah Chen. Lyle Dean. Hui Pin Go. Stephanie Li Chin Lim. Awarded the Asmani Prize in Biotechnology, Unger Reki. Awarded the Convener's Prize, Gavin Karim Wai. <laughs> Katerina Roguska. Awarded the Gabriel Ferez Prize and the Convener's Prize, Lee Sifa. <laughs> Awarded the Convener's Prize, Joyce Eng Jun Fang. <laughs> Hugh Jarman. Thorman Anjan Tharanjan. Jaspreet Olak. Noor Ul Ain Sophia Baba. Panvandeep Bansal. Letitia Bellucci. Ahmed Bhatt. Krishan Bid. Aaron Bohr. Elizabeth Burks. Junhan Marcus Chan. Chen Chen, Huan Jun Chao, Kunal Choraria, Xin Ning Chao, Shou Wai Samuel Chung, Jeremy Kulon, Oliver Cox, Yvonne Deep, Jody Dobson, Timothy Duncan, Veronica Duong, Janie Farah, Annie Fendrick, Nicholas Fernandez, Nathan Ferrol, Ying Fu, Hugh Gledhill, awarded the Chris Champion Prize, Emma Gould. Catherine Hill, Andrew Huang, Aishani Kanagasandram, Ashish Karia, Atalia Lang, Kieran Lam, Mikkel Lara Mikkel, Mamsad Laska. Gabriella Lebrecht, Catherine Lee, awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Sin Yi Leung. <laughs> Zhang Li Li, Patrick Ken Hai Lo, Matthew Locke, Meng Lu, Shong Chao Lu, Kanal Mald, Trisha Mandalia, Nathan Moore, Matthew Morris, Anne Mottram, Christopher O'Sullivan, Kolya Ortman, Luca Passamonti, 
Alexandra Pierce. Tarun Puvan Esvan An. Yuzu Kian. Akal Ray Taiha. Charles Rule. Simrampreet Sada. Mohammed Samad. Wan Norashri Kin Sam Sudin. Sanjeev Sharma. Thomas Shaw. Yuratam Srivas. Sukraj Takar. Yung Chong Darcy Tao. Alexandra Turner. Daniel Ushakov. Han Viga. Stephen Wall. Zay Wang. Miru Hans Werner. Adrian Wang. Awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Kelvin Kafahi Wang. Matthew Woodruff, Yi Yang Young, James Chi Ming Yu, Konstantinos Sarnas, Jing Zhu Zhang, Edward Demai Ness, Mohammed Asaria, awarded the Institute of Mathematics and its Applications Prize and the Governor's Prize, Roland Grinis. <laughs> Yun Bo Tai. Charles Hyde Andrews Bird. Awarded the Tensor Society Mathematics Prize, Man Ho Lai. <laughs> Gregory Quan Wei Li. Shok Fan Chong. Ka An Fong, Run Chien Jiang, Shi Yao Rian Lai, Emmanuel Maya, awarded the Hyman Levy Memorial Prize, Michelle Thuuni Diem New Wayne, <laughs> Risha Sethi. Zheng Min Xu, Jing Jing Young, Ri Ching Chai, Jun Chao, Fan Lu Chen, Si Xiao Chen, Xiao Ying Chen, Xi Cheng, Bo Win Chang, Tong Chiwen Choi, Jiu Kun Dai, Fei Fang, Alex Fung, Jun Xie Gu. Wang Xing He, oh. oh. Benjamin. Oh. Benjamin Hamer, <laughs> Wang Xing He, Philip Herrick, Chu Lei Huang, Jian Hong Huang, Chun Huang, Si Hong Jia, Xin Jin. Awarded the Scorex Prize and the Governor's Prize, Bradley Jones. <laughs> Sean Joe G. Mohsin Khan. Jin Won Kim. Yu Take Kim. Kosuke Kobayashi. King Woon Lee. Shui Jing Lee. Emmanuel Lamal, Pei Lin, 
Zi Xiao Liu, Jing Wen Lu, Shen Chen Lu, Yong Hui Lu, Yu Li Mei, Jacqueline Nagel, Lok Si Connie Eng, Yuan Lun Shaoan Eng, Kevin Tin Hing Nguyen, Tui Chi Nguyen, Su Lin O, Rachel Mei Yen Ong, Sung Bei Park, Kwok Kit Poon, Alfia Shamisheva, Xiao Xiao Tracy Shen, Man Hung Tam, Perry Tam, Shirley Xiao Li Tang, Stephanie Tan, Yat Phi Tsang, Zhang In Chu, Lu Wan, Bing Shi Wang, Su Shi Wang, Yu Ting Wang, Philippine Vato, Ran Wei, Mang Qi Joy Wong, Wei Wu, Rong Xiong, Lindsay Xu, Nina Ye, Xin Yu Ye, Ying Yuan, Edwin Chun He Yuan, Yuan Ye Chai, Xing Chang, Xi Wen Chang, Yi Chang, Yuan Chang, Moody Zhao, Yi Zhao, Yuan Chu, Musadik Gangshi, Si Yuan Gu, Muhammad Nur Hafiz bin Haji Muhammad, Min Sun Kim, June Lee, awarded the Corporate Partnership Program Prize, Ashmi Mehta, Karen Michal, Alexandra Oja, Chi Wai Charles Poon, Jay Shah, Hudson Sin, Piyashat Son Paisan, awarded the Governor's Prize, Meng Jia Wang, <laughs> Mu Mustafa Alim, Georgiana Andrews, Herpreet Barmra, Michaela Bryant Meisner, Samuel Keru, Sam Cham Sum Chan, Louise Win Yen Chung, Carmen Chu, Carrie Ann Croissant, Yujia Du, Sunitha Dwara Kanath, Merlin Fair, Simon Finnegan, Chi Fai Fong, Georgina Graham, awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Misty Haith. Awarded the Ludlam Prize, Johannes Holtzegel. <laughs> Rosie Hood, Jessica Johnson, Reese Jones, Navin Kandapa, Jonathan Kingsley, Andy Wang Chun Lai, Rebecca Lane, Afonso Campos, Yoon Myung Lee, Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Kang Yu Lim. John Lingi. Awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Stephanie Lunt. Laura Mannering. Kieran McElwam. Douglas Myers. Rosalind O'Driscoll. Kieran Patel. Claudio Poliseni. Anne Pollock, Tyus Povel, Helen Pratt, Federico Leo Reddy, Joshua Richards, Gavin Samuel, 
Chandana Shankar, Joseph Situ, Aaron Sly, Alina Solovyova, Christopher Strong, Sean Sweeney, Isabella Serdna Rembold, Gia Jean Tan, Aidan Taylor, Timothy Theo, Amy Thompson, Claire Trant, Sarabana Vavo Vijaya Kamara Guru, Fiona Wall, awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Lydia Wilde, <laughs> Tamar Wilson, David Woodcock, Yahya Al Saleh, Katerina Apostolidou, Katin Chan, Matthew Citron, Max Florian Frenzel, Billy Hesmondhauge, awarded the Governor's Prize, Jian Feng Kong, <laughs> Maxel Li Ming Yang, Jean Mayard, Kyriakos Mavramatis, Hong Pei Mui, Simon Nakash, Jonathan Nagai, Puri Leang Tan, awarded the Governor's Prize, Ch Chung Chie Tan, <laughs> Alejandro Tirado Pacheco, James Walker, Sue Yan, Duncan Anderson, Philip Mandeville, Rebecca Parrish, Samuel Sankey, Wei Wei Zhao, Jennifer Chu Ying Yao, Connell McBrien, Helena da Costa Kaufman, Jethusi Kenchesi Haran, Alexander Harriet, Yu Shen Ju, James Peck, Daniel Southcott, John Oliver Thornton, Camellia Kai Wing Tang, Guang Shi Zhu, Punfet Jaren Cha Shui, Master in Science, Timur Ababzade, Hiran Bavsa, Ella Burrows, Sarah Cesaretz, Marco Couch, Owen Alexander Davis, Mark Driver, Matthew Fox, Xiang Gao, Sarah Gates, awarded the John McCombie Memorial Prize, Douglas Hunt, <laughs> Michael Harangi, Irene Iriati Caratero, Nakai Jivira, Hui Louis Hilary Kwong, Chun Yan Lau, Charlene Lawton, Fiona Ka Wing Lee, Signe Lipina, Chia Bai Lin, Pit Ki Ma, James McArdle, Christine McGee, Josh McNichol, Jennifer Eve Meisen, Casey Shao Mock, Daniel Morgan, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Philip Murray, Jack Padgett, Sadia Rahman, Philip Raymond, Madeline Ross, Ryan Spence, awarded the Governor's Prize and the Evans Medal in Inorganic Chemistry, Laura Stevenson. <laughs> Prima Thakra, Rajvinda Verge Verdi, Barnaby Walker, Christopher Wood, Jun Yi Xing, Jonathan Weiner, Joanna Yue Yang Tsai, 
awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Thomas Chavez. Hamza Giaffa, Benjamin Heller, Olivia Highland, Christian Loftus, Hazel Neighbor, Emma Oakton, Enos Reinberger, Peter Swallow, Polly April Yu, Pierre Bouffle, Christopher Brown, Madison Cope, Ruth Patchett, Katharina Ree, Guto Glyn Reese, Ritten Solanke, Kerry Chun Ho Chan, awarded the Alfred Bader Prize in Organic Chemistry, James Clark. <laughs> Enrico Fantani, Haley Gascoigne, Stephanie Martinez, Thomas War, Omo Falara and Alex Duduremi, Sung Min Eun, Andrew Yu Kyung Leong, Nathan Solomon, Scott Wheeler, Thomas Coyne, Fatima Daya, Mark Doherty, Benjamin Farts, awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Martin Horger. Lap Fung Ip, awarded the Royal College of Science Association Prize, Luke Kanchers. Eldwin Lamb, awarded the IBM Prize for Pure Mathematics, Barbara Marla. Thomas Matcham, Pritess Mehta, awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Shanika Mehta, <laughs> awarded the Derek Moore Memorial Prize, Alexander Milne, <laughs> awarded the Scorex Prize, Ricardo Monti, Awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Raganil Noven. Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Simon Pinder. Satnam Rehal, Alexander Rush. Awarded the Institute of Mathematics and its Applications Prize and the Governor's Prize, Lars Seknan. Sakina Shedubakis, awarded the Gerald Whitrow Prize, Rennie David Martin Toff. <laughs> Henry Wayne, Stephen Watts, awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Robert Wollstoneholm. <laughs> awarded the LBG Prize, Sean Yu. Alexander Kirkozu, Zoe Shawringer, Julian Wayton, Stephen Cooper, awarded the Donald Davies Prize, James Elford, <laughs> Ying Siu Liang, awarded the Gloucester Research Limited Prize, Michael Parasinski, <laughs> Benjamin Fitt. Huey Chi Tai, awarded the Donald Davies Prize, Liam Williams. <laughs> Alan Wojciechowski, Stephen Abnett, David Ainsworth, Veli Akina, Bridget Atkins, Elliot Baima, James Beale, Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Ricarda Beckman. <laughs> Kimberly Burkett. Bradley Bosher. Louise Bowler. Alastair Brash. Joseph Britton. James Samuel Bumby. Peter Burgess. Richard Cameron. 
Thomas Carpenter, Alexander Shauchev, Rebecca Clark, Christopher Clark, Richard Colchester, Michael Cole, Ilsa Daly, Jonathan Darley, Shona Day, Ruth Eccleston, Francis Elliott, Charles Esberger, Adam Falk, Suhail Fengor, Simon Fenton, Richard Fox, Stefano Garombo, Dale Halford Pierce, David Harkin, Kenneth Harvey. Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Peter Hawkins. <laughs> Rebecca Holyer, Christopher Hunt, Stephen Jeffrey, Hugh John, David Kirkpatrick, Kin Hing Lo, Matilda Locke, Gavin McCauley, David Mack. Awarded the Calendar Prize, Keishan Manani. <laughs> Kiara McElaine. Henry McGowan. Alan Meredith. Stefans Mesulis. Sophie Middleton. Christina Milanovic. Alexander Mottram. Christopher O'Donnell. Ravi Paul. Drusham Patel, Jezal Patel, Shamim Patel, Jack Patton, Savidra Pereira, Louis Peters, Charlotte Phillips, Ewan Quince, Isabel Raby, Haron Rajkuma, Sadi Arana, Jonathan Richards, Thomas Rose, Wick Chun Victor C, John Harry Selby, Deep Shah, Rakesh Shah, Hilary Shakespeare, Kadheem Shuba, Georgina Stroud, Benedict Taylor, Oliver Tedder, Andrew Thomas, Tomas Thomas, Elena Trabuki, Laura Vidler, awarded the Tyndall Prize, Jessica Alice Feynman Wade, <laughs> Daniel Walk, Barry Whiteside, Jonathan Wood, Ian Wolfe, Sophie Aslan, Jagdev Baines, Tim Balance. Awarded the Ludlam Prize, Eleanor Berry. <laughs> Ray Betts. Richard Butters. Grace Chen. Nathan Curry. Philip Fole. Nathan Holford. Andrew Johnston. Christopher Jones. Heather Jones. Boris Courts, Indy LeClaire, Margot Rose McNabb, Hannah Short, Eleanor Smith, Ewan Thomas, Joe Tresedern, Joseph Weston, Jeremy Wilkinson, Daniel Joseph Benstock, Awarded the Abdus Salam Undergraduate Prize, the Tesla Prize for Software, and the Governor's Prize, Nicholas Blunt. <laughs> Christos Haralumbus, Oliver James Curtin, Teresa Davy, Raj Dewada, Paramel Depala, Edward Evans, Jamie Funnell. Daniel Hood, Alexander Cannon, Isha Kishore Katecha, Ilya Kurgansky, Victor Linders, 
Lucianus Lucades, Isa O. Maccabi, Irene Mavrudi, Margarita Malaro, Mark Morgan, Lelvin Sai Chong Eng, Michael Nielsen, Luke Pickering, Susan Riley. Awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, Thomas Rogers. Christopher Nigel Self. Raguram Subramaniam. William Lawrence Sutcliffe. Alexander Trosser. Jin Man Wong. Stephen Wood. Alexandra D. Figueredo. Edward Moore. Salim Bhatt, Gala Sipos, Tamara Yassin, Aki McFarlane, Emma Cassie, Cosma Katadi, Presentation of Outstanding Achievement Awards. Throughout his time at Imperial, Marco Couch has been involved in outreach work and with volunteering schemes both inside and outside of college. Marco's work with the Outreach Office has included interviewing pupils for selection onto widening participation programs and representing the college at external events. He participated in the Undergraduate Ambassador Scheme and founded the Team Student Society, where university volunteers provide one-to-one -one tuition to pupils from local schools. Last year, 24 pupils participated, and this year, that number will increase to 100, with Marco continuing to manage the scheme as a postgraduate. As Vice President of the Chemistry Society, Marco designed a buddy system for new students, which was so successful that the Student Union aims to implement it across all departments. Marco also worked with two teaching fellows on a project to design new first-year chemistry laboratory frameworks, and it is a testament to his talents that most of the ideas and experiments designed during this project are being implemented in the present academic year. Charlotte Iverson, who today receives her BSc in Biology, has worked tirelessly during her time at Imperial to improve student welfare and enhance disability awareness and advice. As Deputy President Welfare in 2010-11, Charlotte set up the Student Experience Survey, assessing students' perception and interaction with college welfare and other support services. She also developed online training materials for the union's volunteer welfare officers to improve their skills and understanding. Elected as the union's disability officer in 2011-12, Charlotte created awareness campaigns for specific learning difficulties, assisted in creating competency guidelines for union staff, and introduced a new feature to the student newspaper, Felix, called Unseen Imperial, which invited students to submit anonymous accounts of their mental health experiences. An active member of various union and club committees, Charlotte 
also produced the Drama Society's 2011 show at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. As a result of her many and varied contributions, she has been awarded honorary life membership from the Union. Throughout his time at Imperial, Jason Palmer, who was last year's Deputy President Education, has led initiatives that have transformed student representation and improved the student experience. Jason transformed the student representation system achievement that is of paramount importance to both students and the college. During his sabbatical year, Jason ensured that all 300 student representatives received training and he organized for the first ever representation week, which encouraged greater interaction between students and their representatives. This work led to over 300 recommendations, all of which have been followed up in some way. Following these improvements in the representation system, the college enjoyed its highest ever participation rate in the National Student Survey, with 71% of students taking part, the highest in England and Wales. Always generous with his time, Jason Tutor's sixth form students is an active charity fundraiser and was a games maker during London 2012. Kadim Shuba graduates this year, leaving behind him an outstanding academic record and a legacy of one of Imperial's most influential and active students. Kadim redesigned Felix, the Imperial student newspaper, and as its editor in 2010-11, increased the number of student contributions to a remarkable 300. A physicist with a natural flair for words, he co-founded the Invisible Poetry Group at Imperial, helping to bring Imperial students' words to a broader audience, including an appearance in Time Out magazine. Cadden was also one of the organizers behind a program of local events which aimed to bring the Great Exhibition back to South Kensington. Through his efforts, it gained national prominence becoming one of the most topic, popular topics on Twitter during the event. But to many, Cadim will be best remembered from, for cycling from John O'Groats to Land's End on a tandem with King Arthur, the artificial skeleton, accompanying him on the back seat. Breaking a world record in the process, he has so far raised £3,000 for the Rector's Scholarship Fund. President and Rector, I'm delighted, I'm delighted to pre present to you this year's winners of the Outstanding Achievement Awards, Marco Couch, Charlotte Iverson, Jason Palmer, and Kadim Shuba. Lord Kerr was the chairman of the college's council, its governing body, from January 2005 to July 2011. 
John's first career was in the diplomatic service in which he served with great distinction from 1966 to 2002. During this time, amongst many postings, he was the UK's ambassador to the United States and the British representative to the European Union. He was head of the diplomatic service and permanent secretary of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office from 1997 to 2002. After the civil service, John decided to move to the private sector. His a criterion for accepting an appointment apparently being proximity to the Jubilee Line. He was appointed to the boards of several multinational companies, becoming deputy chairman of Royal Dutch Shell and holding non-executive directorships at Rio Tinto and Scottish Power. He was also a trustee of the National Gallery and was elected an honorary fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. John was ennobled in 2004 and took a crossbench seat in the House of Lords serving on its EU Select Committee. After such a distinguished career, John was finally ready to join Imperial College and he became our chairman in January 2005. John chaired the council with great skill. He focused discussion on matters of primary importance to the academic work of the college and its students. Under his stewardship, for example, the college established generous bursary provision for students from less well-off backgrounds entering the college under the new fee regime. John oversaw the purchase of land from the BBC in West London on which we will build the Imperial West Campus. Though some of us do wonder whether the real reason for the acquisition was to provide John with a convenient park in place for his regular visits to a QPR football club. <laughs> One of John's achievements whilst in post was to strengthen the council in terms of its mix of skills and composition, particularly in regard to improving the gender balance. He instituted an externally led governance review which resulted in clearer lines of management authority, reform of the staff representation of council and a new role for the court. As chairman of council, John also had ceremonial duties, no more so than at these events, the degree awards. Shaking the hands of thousands of graduates, pausing for a quick word with prize winners, especially if they were wearing tartan, he fulfilled the role with just the right blend of dignity and wit. Perhaps the high points, though, of his time on the Abbot Hall stage were his speeches to conclude the proceedings. Always uplifting and humorous, even if some of the jokes were recycled, they sent us on our way after a tiring session in good cheer. I therefore invite you, President and Rector, under the powers granted by the University to the College Council to confer on Law Kerr of Kinlochard a fellowship in recognition of the outstanding contribution he has made to Imperial College. Presentation of Rector's Medals for Outstanding Contributions to Teaching Excellence. Dr. Emma McCoy is an exceptional lecturer who combines excellent teaching with innovative outreach work and is a popular figure in the Department of Mathematics. Despite taking on various roles within the department's administrative function, including admissions tutor and head of department, she has maintained high teaching and examining workloads. Emma has pioneered new teaching methods, introducing technologies such as mobile phone apps and running surveys and discussion groups online. A passionate believer in encouraging the next generation of mathematicians, Dr. McCoy gives frequent talks and master classes at schools and societies. She instigated a pioneering course which sees undergraduates assist with maths teaching in local schools for credit towards their degrees. This not only receives outstanding plaudits from school teachers and students, it also has increased the proportion of Imperial Mathematics graduates going into teaching.
The words of Dr. McCoy's students encapsulate what she brings to the department, with one first-year student saying that her enthusiasm is glowing, she is very approachable. Another describes her as a role model for all lecturers. And a third simply says, no improvement possible. <laughs> Professor Alan Spivey has been a pioneer of novel teaching methods in the Department of Chemistry, delivering courses that receive outstanding student feedback and helping to shape the direction of learning both within the department and across the college more broadly. As Director of Undergraduate Studies and as Chair of the Faculty of Natural Sciences Teaching Committee, Professor Spivey is an important figure within the department and he also sits on various college-wide bodies including the College E-Learning Strategy Committee. Indeed, through his lectures and his administrative work, Professor Spivey passes on his passion for e-learning and its best practice to colleagues and students alike. Alan's approach to teaching extends well beyond traditional lectures and slides, and the innovative methods he employs encompass large physical 3D models of molecules, animated computer simulations, and interactive multiple choice quizzes helping countless students understand complex theories. Immensely valued by his students, his courses are amongst the most highest, highly rated in student feedback. As one student said, he makes me feel that I come to Imperial College to be inspired. President and Rector, I am delighted to present to you the winners of Rector's Medals for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence, Dr. Emma McCoy and Professor Alan Spivey. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd first like to thank those people who have a nice, weak, limp handshake. The people who grip my hand very hard, just remember that I have got two more ceremonies today and I hope to survive them. Um, my role is to close the proceedings on this very special occasion, which to me is the end of a wonderful summer in London with the Olympics, the Paralympics, the Queen's Jubilee. But this is a particularly special day when we mark our pride in all of you. Now, there are a number of people to thank, first of all. I'd like to thank those people who have organized today. Yesterday, this um, wonderful place was the setting for the premiere of the James Bond film. Somehow, it has been transformed into this venue for our Commemoration Day ceremony, with all of you in the right place, coming up at the right time. So I'd like to thank those people who've organized that. <laughs> My second thank you is to our musicians and singers behind me on the platform, who contribute tremendously to the spirit of happiness on this day. And my thanks very much to them. I think also it's appropriate to thank the ladies and gentlemen sitting beside, behind me on the stage who in their various ways have supported and helped all of you through your time at Imperial and to whom you, I think, owe a good deal.
Now, I also want to thank your friends and your families. Being at university, I did it a long, long time ago, um, isn't without its difficulties, and the support of your families, who are fantastically represented here today, and your friends, you know how much that has meant to you. But on behalf of Imperial College, I'd like to thank the wider family of the families of our students for your support and encouragement. So thank you to you. I think it's a very proud day for you to see the results of your child, friends, hard work. And I'm sure you're very proud of the people sitting beneath me and up behind. But we are also very proud of them at Imperial. We're proud that they chose to come here when many of them would have got into many universities around the world where they chose to come to Imperial. We're proud of what they achieved here and we expect to be proud of them in their future lives because graduates from Imperial go on to do really important things in the world, um, addressing some of the difficult problems we face, and we expect that the graduates today will contribute to many, addressing many of those problems. So we are really proud of them. And I hope, as you leave today, you'll remember the specialness of the occasion what Imperial meant to you, and our appreciation of all you, the graduates, have given to Imperial. So my final thanks is to today's graduates.